this is Ali. Welcome back to You in Korea. You in Korea is a channel for those who love Korea, who want to learn more about this country. Here in this channel, we're trying to share with you guys some interesting information about the country, talk about some recent issues. If you love Korea just as much as we do, this channel is for you. At the end of this video, we will take some time to learn some Korean through Korean wave content. Today we'll be looking at the lyrics from Shiny's recent release, Hard. So stay tuned till the end. In many of our previous videos about K-pop, we mentioned several times that summer is the season of K-pop in Korea. It's the time for outdoor festivals, concerts, and different events. So as we're saying goodbye to summer of 2023, I decided to look at some hottest comebacks we had this summer. The summer of 2023 was marked by the return of at least two legendary K-pop boy groups. I'm of course talking about the long-awaited comebacks of EXO and SHINee, whose members were not active for quite a while due to their military service. SHINee released their eighth studio album this year, and as a SHINee fan of 13 years, I think it's my duty to tell you guys about it. SHINee have a lot of nicknames in Korea. The princess of K-pop, the younger brothers of the nation. Regardless, SHINee released their eighth studio album this year and returned with a completely different concept, proving once again their status as a contemporary band. On June 26, SHINee made their long-awaited comeback after more than two years of hiatus. The album has 10 new songs lead by the title track Heart, which surprised many fans with its powerful hip-hop concept. A veteran in the industry celebrating their 15th debut anniversary, it is true to say that SHINee returned with a bang. According to the group, this album is to write a new chapter in the history of SHINee. And it's fair to say it's already making history, swiping awards, making SHINee the first K-pop group to receive awards in three different decades. Amazing, right? Another long-awaited return from the military was, of course, from EXO, Shiny's younger brothers from SM Entertainment. EXO released their seventh studio album, EXIST. It's their first full album since 2019 and their first release in over two years, so it's fair to say the fans have been hungry. Due to members' military duty, the group wasn't able to perform altogether for a while, so they are gathering a lot of attention right now with their title track Cream Soda, landing number one in charts in 66 different countries. Cream Soda is a sweet and spicy love song, so make sure you check it out too. Another big comeback of the summer was also a boy group from SM Entertainment. I'm of course talking about NCT Dream. It seems the group knows no rest. After wrapping up their world tour with Dream Show 2, with around 40 shows in various countries, including North and South America and Europe, they're already here to shake the summer with their new album ISTJ. The title was taken from one of the personality types in MBTI. You remember we talked about this on our previous videos, right? MBTI is a big deal in Korea. And speaking of NCT, they had just had their first big concert as a full group with all their units on one stage. We of course cannot leave out the long-awaited solo release of this year. I'm of course talking about 7 by BTS's Jungkook. The song that broke records over records and has gained attention and popularity all over the world. The song captured all known social media and was played in every place possible in every city in the world. If you ask me, this is the attention he deserved. And speaking of attention, I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, right? Of course, we cannot leave out new jeans. 
the girls who captured the hearts of Korean and global fans with their songs Attention, songs like Hi Boy and OMG. They returned with their new EP this summer and their title song Super Shy. The song ranked really high on various global music charts as well as Korean music charts and completely took over all social media. But as the summer ends, does it mean there will be no more hot comebacks and no K-pop events? Of course not. There will still be more upcoming comebacks from your favorite artists and of course when the fall semester starts, there will be more festivals, more activities, more events and open concerts. Here are some things that you can look forward to in fall of 2023. First, the long-awaited debut of Baby Monster, the new group by YG Entertainment that everybody is anticipating to finally see. BTS's V is planning his solo debut for September 2023 as well, so armies will not have time to rest too. Newest boy group from SM Entertainment is on the way as well, so we all keep our eyes open for Rise. Among other K-pop stars to come back this fall are Shinies, Ki, Mamamoo Hwasa, Ailey, Gravity, G-Idol and many many more. So please show your support to all these artists. The fall season will also bring lots of concerts, not just in Korea but also all over the world. Stray Kids, for example, have already announced their upcoming concerts in Seoul, which will be bringing more and more global fans to Korea this year. On the other side, SM Town is going to Jakarta to meet their overseas fans. And lots of lots of K-pop artists keep updating their tour dates and name cities for their next stops. So I'm really, really hopeful that all of you will be able to visit their concerts to experience and celebrate K-pop in your own country. Finally, it's the time to look at some Korean lyrics and to learn some Korean through Korean Wave content. Today, of course, I could not leave this song away, so today we'll be looking at the lyrics from Shiny's latest released Heart. Let's take a look. 왕관은 주인을 되찾아내 세상이 끝까지 예, we don't stop. The crown will return to its king. Till the end of the world, we don't stop. I think this line describes all of our today's heroes as well. Please keep supporting the hard-working artists and let us know what are your favorite songs this summer. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be bringing more interesting topics in the future as well. Until then, please stay with us, subscribe to our channel, give us thumbs up, leave your feedback and questions in the comment section. I will be back next time and until then, annyeong!